In the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing printing pattern programs in C. In this video, I will talk about how to print this pattern. We will see the logic here. First of all, in the whiteboard, then I will show you the output on my laptop using VS Code Editor, right? This is very simple to print. Don't just look at it and think it's very tough. No, let me clear out one thing. It's very simple to print, right? How? Why I am saying this? See, if you observe here, then it is combination of two patterns. Which one? This pattern is combination of one is this one, this one, right? And one is this one, inverted half pyramid. And one is this half pyramid. Combination of these two, we combine this two, we will get this. The only difference is what? If we combine these two directly, then two lines would be there having maximum number of stars. Here also five, here also five. Right? But here we have only one row having five stars, having maximum number of stars. Right? So you just have to change a little bit. Means combine the code of printing this pattern and this pattern. And you have to change a little bit. Right? Because only one line we need having maximum number of stars. Fine. Now, what change you do? So first of all, please watch out the videos that I have discussed printing this pyramid, half pyramid and inverted half pyramid. I have discussed in detail because here I will just simply write down the logic and we will discuss only the little change whatever you, you need to do here. Right? So please check out this video first. I will provide you the link of that playlist, complete playlist, C complete playlist in the description box of this video you can go and check out. Now let me just write down the code for this and this. So now see this coding was to print this one the half pyramid right and from this to this this was to print this the inverted half pyramid i have on, only changed a little bit here now i have initialized i is equal to number of rows minus one and i hope you got why i have done rows minus one because here i want only one line having maximum number of stars so we will completely print this pyramid and this pyramid, the inverted half pyramid, we will print only these four lines, not the line having maximum number of uh, that stars. That is why I have done rows minus one. If we take number of rows five, means this loop would be executed only four times and that's exactly we want only four lines. If number of rows are nine, then or you can say ten, then for this one we want 10 lines but from this inverted half pyramid we want only 9 lines we don't want the line having maximum number of stars right that is why 10 minus 1 that is 9 so this loop would be executed only 9 times or uh, if we have if you take 5 then 4 times only right now let me just run this one suppose number of rows you are entering before this you will write printf enter number of rows using scanf you will take the value so number of rows I am taking 5 now i is equal to 1, i would be initialized with 1, 1 less than equal to 5, yes condition true, enter here. j is equal to 1, now j 1 less than equal to i, i is 1, yes condition true, we will enter here and star would be printed. This one, one star would be printed, right? Now j plus plus, j is 2, is 2 less than equal to 1, no condition not true, exit from the loop slash n. In the next line we are now, right? Now i is equal to i plus plus i is 2, 2 less than equal to 5, yes condition true again enter here and this would be step would be, this step would be repeated, right. How many times till i value becomes 3, then 4, then 5 and 6, when i value becomes 6, then this condition is not true, we will exit from the loop, means 5 times, means 5 lines would be printed, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till this we are done. Now we have to print this pattern. Now exit from the loop because condition not true. Now after this loop we have these lines means we have another for loop. Now i was would be initialized with number of rows minus 1, number of rows 5, 5 minus 1 that is 4. 4 greater than equal to 1, yes condition true, enter here. j would be initialized with 1, 1 less than equal to i is 4, yes condition true, enter here and star would be printed. Right? j plus plus j becomes 2. 
2 less than equal to 4, yes condition true, again star would be printed. Now, how many times star would be printed? 4 times, right? When j value becomes 5, then we will exit from the loop, means 4 star would be printed, right? That is why I have done rows minus 1. Now, I hope you got it, right? Now, exit from the loop and slash n means we are in th into the next line now. Now, i minus minus i becomes 3, yes 3 greater than equal to 1, again enter here and this loop, this, the, this process would be repeated until i value becomes 0, then 2, then 1, then 0, when i value becomes 0, stop it. And how many times this loop would be executed? 1, 2, 3, 4, means 4 lines would be printed like this. And that's it, exactly you want this pattern, right? So now I hope you got it how to print this pattern. Now maybe you are thinking in the previous video, a video I have told you first analyze the pattern, how many number of lines like 5, 6, then 7, 8, then 9, then divide it into number of columns and the outer loop would be from 1 to 9, means from 1 to 9, number of rows should be 9. But here number of rows are 5 and we are able to print 9 number of rows, right? So yeah, you have to think a little bit in a different way, maybe some pattern is combination of other patterns also. We have discussed simple, simple patterns, right? Like this and this in previous video also I have discussed a pattern that was also combination of two pattern, full pyramid and inverted full pyramid, right? So you have to think now a little bit in a different way in the complicated, you know, uh, that patterns. These are generally combination of simple, simple two or three patterns, right? So just combine the coding of those simple patterns and that's it. That is why I was saying these printing of these patterns are very simple. I hope you got it now. Now let me show you the output on my laptop. So now let me create another file pattern 11.c. And here we have to declare i, j, one variable is space and one is to, for total number of rows, right. And we will ask from the user enter number of rows using scan of, obviously we are going to take the input. And now for loop for the first pattern i is equal to 1 i less than equal to number of rows and i plus plus right now within this what j is equal to 1 j less than equal to i and j plus plus and within this we will just print what star right and in the outer loop we have to print slash n. Now another th that inverted half pyramid for that one also we have to we have to combine the coding right. So one coding for this the half pyramid and this one is for inverted half pyramid. So again i is equal to what rows minus 1 and i should be greater than equal to 1 here i minus minus right and within this another for loop j is equal to 1 j less than equal to i and j plus plus and within this we are going to print star sorry not 8 it's star uh, and in the outer loop sorry not for loop we have to write down printf slash n right now that's it now let uh, it should be number of its rows minus 1 right we are taking the variable name rows fine now let me just run this oh it's it should be printf where I have written this this is what printf, sorry it's spelling mistake. Now again let me just run this. Now it is asking number of rows, let us say 5 and you are getting this pattern, exactly I want this pattern, right. Now let me just run this for 10 number of rows, 10 and this pattern you want, right. 
So, if you do not want to change into this loop, what you can do? You can change, you can just simply put rows till 1 and you can change into this for loop i till rows minus 1 that is it and now let me just run this for 5 number of rows and yeah exactly we are getting the same pattern right. So, now that is it for this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment box. So, now I will see you in the next video with a new pattern till then bye bye take care.